Hey everybody, so it is yet another update video. Now, I want to title this one a little bit differently because I, I kind of want to stick it more to the truth because things are changing in my life right now. So basically, I mentioned a couple previous things in the previous update videos, but I wanted to kind of add on to those topics and also bring up some new topics that I want to talk about. So the first thing I want to talk about is I am starting college tomorrow. So I mentioned that I am going to college in a couple other update videos, but the thing is, is that I have a lot more info that I wanted to kind of provide to you guys to what this means for the channel. So basically, uh, I have school from Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think it starts at 10.30 a.m. each day, and then it ends at 12.05. And the thing is, is that like, I hated school. Like I hated high school so much. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous about it because my high school memories or horrors are trying to bring, are trying to taint that vision of going to college. But I do know that a lot of people say that college is a lot more like relaxed and more freedom than high school. And I'm hoping that's the case because I just hated high school. I felt like a freaking prison, but I kind of want to provide some updates on the college dilemma. And the thing is, is that like, uh, what this means for the channel is that the upload videos, the amount of videos I, I would upload might slow down a little bit. But the good thing is, is that this class I'm taking is not really homework heavy and test heavy. So it's going to be more of like hands on in the class. And thank God, because one thing I absolutely hated about high school is the amount of homework that we would get. And I was on mostly online when we were, or when I was in high school and I was mostly virtual and I absolutely hated homework, but not to say that there won't be homework with this class, but I don't think it'll be as really bad compared to previous classes that I've had in high school. And I hope that's the case because I hate homework. But the thing is, is that the class I'm taking is in like a computer lab. So basically there's a lecture at 10 30 through 11 05 and then at 11 05 through 12 05 there's the lab so basically like the actual doing things and it's something that i honestly did not want to do otc or my college for the longest time because i really did not like school and i remember my mom was constantly bringing up the idea of me going or doing it because i was really lonely even after i graduated high school and I finally listened to her and I hope it's worth it because I, I'm just, I just feel like high school is really trying to ruin the vision of it because high school was very tough for me. And I think it was for a lot of other people too. And I hope it's not as restricted and confined as high school was. So yeah, so that's a little bit of an update on college. And I think it'll be, I'm hoping that'll be good. It'll be a good, friend making opportunity because the only friends I have uh I love them they're they're great people but they can't hang out very often so I basically have been kind of lonely these past few months ever since I lost my job and that's kind of what's been going on lately and yeah so college uh I am going there tomorrow as I'm recording this and I'll probably will tell you guys how that day was because it's just like, I have been nervous about it for weeks and weeks and weeks. So yeah, that's just a little bit of an update on college. The next thing I wanna talk about is uh, kind of video ideas in the future. Now I mentioned the circus before and uh, I'm going to the circus on February 5th at 1 p.m. So it's not too far away. And the thing is, is that like this weather, I kind of wanna bring up the weather for a second because uh, this has been a really warm January for, for the U.S. across the board, and uh, especially here in Missouri. And uh, I didn't think about it back because I scheduled the ticket way back in December because uh, I think it's like uh, the first 100 tickets in each city, you get $10 admission, which normally it's 25 But uh, it's, it's basically, I did that ahead of time because I knew that people would buy a lot or there would be, it would be running out of those $9 tickets or $10 tickets. And I didn't, because I haven't been to a circus in so long 
and I'm I'm actually weird that I don't have a fear of clowns. Like I clowns don't bother me. They used to when I was really young when Ronald McDonald would come to the library near us. But I've grown I like clowns. I think they're fine. But uh it's just the circus video, if it comes out or if I'll do it, which I want to, um, there's I probably will bring the pen camera if they don't have like full like body checks of if you have any like weapons or anything but if like a safety hazard but i probably will bring the pen camera for a couple things because i want to ride an elephant now i mentioned in the 2023 youtube plans video that uh circus or circuses in general have been accused or basically proven that they've abused animals and that's why barnum and bailey are going animalist and stuff like that but Cardin circus the one that's near me is they still use animals and i don't know how i feel about that because they claim the on the website they claim that they are taking care of 110 percent but that's what barnum and bailey basically said before they got rid of their animals so um the thing is though is that i recently found out that they are actually moving away from real animals because uh i think the Cardin owner said that recently because there's been more uh segments of the circus with like costumes and stuff like that with people on it and i think it's for the best because people still feel feel like it's the 1950s where basically you can use animals and make them go everywhere which i think i've said that in the previous update video but um there's a couple of things about the circus i want to update you guys about so uh i probably will try to ride an elephant because I don't think I've ridden, I think I rode a camel before when I was like five years old. But I don't think I've ever ridden a, uh, a elephant. And because elephants, I feel like I've heard are taking the most abuse out of the, all the animals in the circus, I've heard. That might not be true, but yeah. So uh, the thing is, though, is I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to. I don't know if it's only a kid's activity thing. I hope it's not. But uh I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be, because there's like five kids on the elephant. Uh, I think it's like a maximum of like five people that can go on there, so I don't know why it wouldn't be. But um, there's also a possibility that I might take a friend with me, and I'm going to probably ask that friend if he wants to go. But the thing is, is that I want to make sure that he's comfortable being filmed on camera, because every person that is with me in my videos, I want to make 100% sure that they're okay with being filmed and uploaded to YouTube. Because I have had a person or two that wasn't really, they weren't like, oh, totally against it, but they kind of wanted to have their faces censored, which I completely respect. But I just want to make sure that everyone's comfortable in my videos. And it's just like, I heard the circus or the elephant ride is like $20. So I probably will have to bring some extra money because, uh, because I already paid my ticket ahead of time, so I don't. I didn't thought that was gonna be it. I thought the elephant rides were free, but I guess not. Um, so I probably will uh, bring some extra cash. So that's an update on the circus. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Is that uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult because apparently you can't film the circus itself in like the stadium. Now I might be a little rebellious and actually do it, but I might have the pen camera so they won't know. But, uh, because I have seen YouTube videos where, like, they record the whole show, which I won't record the whole show, but I probably will record, like, the highlights of it. So, it'll be a little bit easier to, like, cut out. Because I do not want to record the whole show because it'll take forever to edit. But, yeah, so that's an update on Circus. And that video, if it does come out, I would say probably a few days after February 5th, so, like, February 8th. Yeah, so... Uh, that's one thing that I kind of want to provide is the circus update video because I really want to do that video. And it's sad because like sometimes I promise videos and they just don't happen because I'm too nervous to vlog in public. Because vlogging in public is still a new thing to me. I mean, I've done it before. But like if there's like so many people around me, which there probably will be, I'm going to be having to get immune to that because... If there's a lot of stuff going around around me, it's really hard to focus because of my autism that 
um, I can't focus on multiple things. So hopefully that won't be like too bad, but I wanna try to make a vlog or like it, I think it will be probably called I Go To The Circus because that's kind of like what I did with the other vlogs like Sodor City. But yeah, so that's an update on the circus video. If that does come out, I really want it to. So yeah, that's an update on that. Another update is, is that I have a possibility of getting a job soon. Now, I mentioned about uh, Vogue Rehab and how annoying they are on how slow they're taking. And finally, we're starting to get a little bit of progress. So the thing is, is that like, like I probably won't use these people again because they, I feel like we kind of disagree on the things that, uh, on the places I would want to work at because some people are, the person that I'm working with says he wants me to work at Walmart. And I'm like, there's no way that's gonna happen because Walmart, I hate Walmarts in general. Imagine me working there. And that's why I don't go to Walmarts very often. Now I have gone to Walmart for like claw machine, like clips in my vlogs, but not really much else. And I don't want to work at Walmart. That's just a horrible choice. But the thing is, is that like, I am really like, I really think that like, uh, Walmart would be a horrible choice for me because I just cannot stand Walmart's atmosphere anyway. So I can't imagine you not even, I don't want to work there personally. But I did apply for a price cutter job in Springfield. Now, I was originally going to see if I can get a job in Ozark, but there's a possibility I might be moving into a house with my sister uh, temporarily. And uh, that will probably be in the next few months. I forgot to tell you guys that. But uh, I'm not going to be moving out of this setup probably. Probably not because this is like, I've used this basically since the beginning of my return. And I feel like it would be kind of a weird switch to go to a completely different house. But I think I'm gonna be staying two nights a week at that house with my sister, and uh, hopefully it goes well, but I don't know. But I wanted to get a job near Springfield because I probably will be, because I'm not, I'm going to uh, that college, and I'll be closer to my job in case if I need to go back, or if I need to go to a job after my classes. So that's one thing that I've changed. Yeah, so I applied for a price cutter job, and hopefully I get an interview, interview because there was a point where I was gonna get uh, a King Cash Shaver job, maybe, but I had to reschedule my appointment or my interview. And apparently, my mom thinks that they made up this whole excuse of me not getting uh, another interview because, um, because like uh, they said that there was a hiring freeze, so they can't hire anybody, even though they had an interv interview for me. So my mom thinks that there was a there's a theory that they didn't want to hire me so they just made up an excuse because i rescheduled on them but yeah so uh price cutter job it, it this job situation is really just freaking annoying because like i just want a job i want something to earn money because i i'm luckily starting to get a little bit more money back because i'm getting 50 dollars every week for otc and like getting lunch and stuff like that but it's just like, it's just like, it seems like if I want to support myself in the future with paying uh, my part of the rent for that house that I might be moving into, I need more money than that. So hopefully I can get a job soon. But the thing is, if I get a job, that might delay videos also. But I don't think there's, oh, sorry, that's a turn it on. But yeah, so um, hopefully things are gonna be good turning around for the better because uh i've been really financially unstable and it's just been really annoying but yeah so uh that's kind of another update is that a job might be on the horizon so i can finally support myself and earn money again and have experience because it's just like i barely have any money left right now like if i because i used to buy stuff from ebay all the time when i was still working at knee repeats but uh, it was like, uh, I got fired, so I couldn't buy anything from eBay anymore. I mean, I could for a while, but I'm really watching my money because it's just been really tough. And, uh, I've been eating a lot fast or a lot less fast food recently. I think I have a, I think I'm thinner than I used to be, 
But yeah, so that's another update because I don't know if I'll slow down videos or not. But when I get a job, I'll tell you guys. It will probably be its own video because it's not like I really don't want to do any more update videos for now because they're just so the same thing every time it feels like but yeah so that's another thing is that like uh like i'm not very financially financially stable right now now there is one thing that might happen is i might have an appointment for uh ssi and what that basically means is that since i have a disability uh uh, like, uh, there's a possibility I could get social or supplementary security income. So basically what that means is that I earn way below the requirement that they want. So basically there's a higher probability that I'll get, uh, that I'll get, uh, SSI. And basically, basically SSI is you get paid up to $914 a month. So you can like afford things that you normally wouldn't be able to afford and it's not work-based in my i don't think so because uh social security disability is a completely different thing and that's like enough work credits but uh i don't think it's work history type thing because like it's like really because that's one thing i was kind of worried about with when doing an appointment for it because like it was like I don't know if me working a part-time job would kind of affect my eligibility to get approved but so basically if I get SSI I will have a lot more I'll be way more financially stable because uh, I applied or I did an appointment I think on January 6th so it's been like 11 days at this point and they said that they'll contact me with an appointment date 7 to 14 business days so Hopefully this next few days I get a response, but uh, the thing is, is that since my diagnosis has lasted so long, because I got diagnosed at two and a half, and it was like something that kind of shook the whole world of our family, and luckily that's kind of like settled down now, but we have all this documentation that we've had, that we kept for like so many years, and we have like a whole bunch of stuff like doctor's notes diagnosis official or official diagnosis school reports like all this stuff so we have way more documentation than we probably need but it's just like it's just like the, i feel like people, they say that or the S, the social security and administration say that the more proof the better um so that's a good thing and i also have a bunch of other i have like major depressive disorder um, so, and like stuff like that, so I have anxiety. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can maybe get SSI. And uh, the thing is, is that there's an email that actually uh, I got sent by them. So this is because I, uh, because it's weird because like I actually, yeah, so I applied for this on January 6th and it was like really like, it, it was at a time where it wasn't very long ago but where I couldn't afford anything. So it says, you will receive the day and time of your employment by mail and email seven to 14 business days. And this was 11 days ago. And it says, if you are interested in applying for benefits, we may use today, January 6th, as the application date, but only if you file a signed application by a certain date. For SSI, you must file by March 7th. So that will probably be, hap that, that appointment will probably be happening soon. Fingers crossed I could get it because I really want SSI because God, who knows how long the folk rehab thing is going to take. So yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a longer update video, but I kind of wanted to update you guys on some stuff because things are changing a lot in my life right now. And I didn't want to title it to another update video because it just, I'm so tired of doing them in my opinion, because I mean, I probably could still do them, but make them not so long like this video recording I'm doing right now. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.